so this is our new complex equation now first of all let's see how many gates we supposed to use to implement this equation so and gate another and gate or gate not gate and gate and gate or gate and gate not gate and gate or gate and gate and gate and not gate 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 so we supposed to use 14 gates to represent this equation so now let's start the simplification process in this here you can see ab is common in this last two terms so if we take ab common then we left with ab into c bar plus c first two terms will stay as it is so now here we have c bar plus c which is similar to a plus a bar so a plus a bar is equal to 1 so we can replace this c plus c bar with 1 so we left with a bar b c plus a b bar c plus a b now let's move ahead now here in these two terms you can see a is common So if we take a common from these two terms, we'll get this term as it is a into b bar c plus b. Now this b bar c plus b can be simplified using this equation. b bar c plus b is equal to b plus c. This expression we have already derived in our previous video. So if you don't understand from where this comes, you can refer that previous video, and the link will be in description and above here in i button. but for now we'll take this as it is so here we can replace this b bar c plus b with b plus c so further we can write like this a into b plus c so now if we multiply this a with this b and this c we'll get a bar b c plus a b plus a c now here you can see in first and in second term you can take this b common So if we take this b common, the updated terms looks like this: a bar into c plus a plus a c. Now this a bar c plus a looks similar to this. So from this, if we want to write equivalent equation for this, then we can write a bar c plus a is equal to a plus c. So now replace this a plus c in place of this term, then we can get b into a plus c plus a c. So now finally, if we multiply this term b with this a and this c, we'll get a b plus b c plus a c. So this is the simplified version of the previous equation. Now let's see how many gates we require to implement this equation: AND gate, OR gate, AND gate, OR gate, AND gate. One, two, three, four, five. So we require five gate to represent this equation. Previously, it was fourteen gates, and now we can shorten it by five gates. It is almost thirty-three percent of the original equation, and indirectly we can say that a sixty-six percent reduction in power consumption we have achieved. Now let's jump for the next equation, 